through three minutes. Praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are happy to be in your midst. <laughs> praise the Lord. We are here to testify to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. I'm not here to tell you what the devil did. All I know is that it is God that did it. He has not done us wrong. We are the Gimbas. I am Janet Gimba. This is Jeremy Gimba, Nathan Gimba, and Ibrahim Gimba. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When we were in the kidnappers den, we asked the Lord to free us. And it was like we will not see this day. Jeremy's birthday was the 9th of July, and uh, mine is tomorrow. He has seen his own, and I'm seeing my own. Praise God. Hallelujah. But that's not the thing I came here basically for. I came here to tell you that God answers prayers. Before we entered the kidnappers' den, I had a prayer point that is familiar about firstborns. I went for Wednesday prayer. By the way, I'm from Barnawa Parish in Kaduna. I went for Wednesday prayer, and the prayer was led concerning firstborns. And they said, pray for their salvation. And actually, my firstborn was the type that was playful. He wasn't serious with the things of God. It pained me. So I took his salvation to my altar, even in the house. And I prayed seriously, and I told God, I want to be convinced that you have saved him. I was not done with that session when suddenly those evil people visited us on the 26th of June 2024 and took us away. While we were in their den, I kept noticing a metamorphosis in the life of my son. He was changing. He was becoming, he was loving God. He, was, he, he had given his life to Christ and I did not even know that all our choir songs, he knows them until when he gave his life to Christ and he started singing them. This boy will attest to the fact that yesterday we were singing one song. We all started crying because in the bush we were singing that song. The way he enters it, I had to joke with him and say, Victor, so you saw that now you have become a choir member. You know, he was so serious with the things of God to the point that one day I told him, I said, Victor, if coming to this bush is because of your salvation, I think I'm okay with it. And I want to stand here and tell you that Victor did not die. God took him. Praise the Lord. I have not lost a son. He just went to be with God. God answers prayers. Praise the Lord. And then when I was supposed to leave these children, it just happened that God gave us a chance because praying and singing there was like a problem. They will not allow you. One day God, God saw our problem, our tears, and decided to send heavy rain. And we praised and praised and made declaration. And I told God that whatever I tell them, they will agree. And that was when, the long story short, they agreed to allow me to come out and look for the money in court. And before I left these children, I had had them planning to kill this one after killing his brother. It was to be the next day. Thank God they don't understand how, sir. I was the one hearing the conversation. So when I told God what I told him, I told them they accepted I came to this once and I gave them a prayer point I said they should ask God every day to draft his angels to watch over them I told them I cannot do what the angels of God can do and I asked them to pray that he should see his birthday that God should release them on or before his birthday and brethren if you follow the news very well these children got into Abuja by 12 a.m. on the 9th of July his birthday and the faith of these ones was strengthened. Praise the Lord. And I want to thank God because he has turned the evil that the enemy planned for my family into good. And I want to appreciate all of you because you stood by me. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So loved he that he gave us his son. Oh, yeah, that is an atonement for sin. Yeah. 
Amen. I want the church to be on her feet. Rise on your feet. We are going to decree. Those evil men, none of them shall see the end of this month. They are evil families. They are children, all of them. Just as my pastor decreed in one of the pastors' meetings we had here, none of them shall see the end of this month. They shall all meet their water loose in Jesus' name. Let the church decree now. Let the church pray. Tell the Lord as it was said, so it must be. They must come to their end. They have touched the tiger's tail. They have touched the apple of God's eyes. Therefore, the Lord God of heaven shall judge them. The earth shall reject them. The heavens shall reject them. The waters shall reject them. The waters they drink becomes poisonous to them. The food they eat becomes poisonous to them. Even the main road shall reject them. The bush shall eject them. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we have prayed. And this family that the God of heaven will bless them more and more. The God of heaven will replenish the Gimbas family. All their sorrows God will take them away. And God will strengthen the watchman in Jesus name. In Jesus name we have prayed. Take